I need to get warm though. So they do work. <laughs> Little baby dears. Guten Morgen! We are at Knoll House in Sevenoaks today, aren't we? We are I've indeed. I've got my posh voice on, apparently. Oh yeah, love it all. As soon as you come to posh house, you need to speak posh. Absolutely. So oh, yes. we've already <laughs> seen a little flock of baby deer this oh, morning, yes. haven't Fellow we? deer. And we're going to go and try and find some more of them, as well as show you around this beautiful house. Beautiful house. That, here. Just for a small snippet of information, yeah. um, a lot of what's inside of there hasn't changed since, since 1600, so 1608, Whoa. 1609. There's some rooms in there that have not changed in decoration. Everything is the original stuff from over 400 so years ago. we are going back in time with you today, guys. And this whole park started around about 1290, um, went through various ownerships mm -hmm. until we get to what we have here from uh, 1600. A lot of history. Should we All go explore lots of it? History. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. See you in a bit, guys. Bye. So we have set off on our walk around the Knoll Estate Parkland today. We found ourselves a little map and we picked up the Boundary Walk, it's called, which is a 5 km. Yep. Um, so we're going to go and explore that and we will take you along with us to see the sights, take it all in and enjoy it with us. Let's get going. We've just stumbled across this absolutely epically awesome tree and I am going to try and see what we can see from the inside out. In we go. Oh wow. This is really cool. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm in a tree. Look at that, how it spirals up. Very cool. <laughs> I'm in a tree. This one just scared the life out of me, didn't you? <laughs> when I turned around from filming. But it's so cool. I love it. You can see all the like different inner bark. Oi, yay. Here's Mudge. Oh, scary. <laughs> we have come up trumps in the deer lottery today, haven't we, darling? Yep. Got a couple Look of albinos. Them. Their antlers are amazing. They are incredible. <gasps> Look at them. They like wave hello to you with their ears, don't they? They do. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, they're so cool. These two down here are just chilling. Oh, there's another one there. Three. Yeah. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> the most British deer related joke ever. <laughs> we just saw some more deer. They're so fantastic to look at, aren't they? They're Definitely Amazon, some. Sorry, so... I just got. Annoying bug on me. <laughs> Their antlers are amazing. Yeah, they almost look like they're fairy, don't they? A little bit. Fairy? A bit of fairy. A bit of fairy. A bit of fairy. They are. A bit of fairy. They're a bit of fairy. <laughs> so I reckon we're on the right path. Taryn doesn't. Well, I just don't trust him because we chose to. I'm do an the expert navigator. Shush. You shush. I'm an expert <laughs> navigator. <laughs> we chose to do the boundary walk. But then this one decided he didn't want to follow the arrows for the boundary walk. He wanted to go the opposite way around. Yeah, because we'd already done part so of it. So now we don't have any arrows to follow. <laughs> it's fine. And we are useless. It's so fine. We're going to get lost. No, we're not. We are. Have faith, mon chéri. Mon chéri. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we go. Well, let's be hair up. Your hair is already a mess. Shut up. up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Oh yeah. Anyway. Shut up. Huzzah! Huzzah!
time. <laughs> Ready. Just about. <laughs> oh, it wasn't so easy for you, was it? Do you want to try now? Hello. So we're just wandering around the outskirts of the park. And then as we've been going around, we've been seeing little groups of deer in the woodland. Yeah. And uh, many, 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 many moons ago, um, Henry VIII used to come here as a hunting ground um, for the deer. There's been deer here for hundreds and hundreds of years. There's about four or five archbishops that actually lived here. Um, at some point it was owned, um, leases were purchased, it was rented out. Given to people, wasn't it? And the rent, hold your horses, <laughs> it's around about £200 a year. Just a measly 200 quid a year, guys. Wow. Probably not anymore, I would say. Uh, but the person who leased, I can't remember their name, there's a lot of history here. We'll link um, the site. Oh, yeah, but all the details below yeah. in the description so you can go and read it all for yourself. It's very interesting. Um, even though he rented it out, um, he had the full rights to come and use it whenever he wanted. And then eventually it was kind of back and forth between the crown and um, the people that owned it, and then they died, and then it went to the crown and back, back and forth. And eventually, Elizabeth I. Um, gifted this house and the to land her to her cousin Thomas Sackville. So he got hold of it and he did a lot more building work here. Um, and he was the Earl of, first Earl of Dorset. He died around 1600, 1608, 1609-ish, I believe. Um, at which point all work on the house stopped. Um, like all work on the house completely stopped. So basically, <laughs> it's a very old place. It's got lots of history, hasn't changed for 400 odd years. Mm -hmm. And it's the frozen current- Frozen in time. Frozen in time. Uh, current owners, Sackville West, still own part of it. Mm -hmm. um, the other part is owned by the National Trust. Yep. And the Sackville West still live here today um, on certain parts, certain parts of the grounds. Um, so yeah, we will show you a bit more once we get indoors and uh, show you all the amazing rooms. Yeah. See in a bit. Still got a bit of walking to do first though. Now we'll see in a bit. We've just veered out of the woodland bit we were just in because we saw this bright open meadow full of sunshine. So we're now taking this route back towards the house, we think, don't we, Mudge? Yep. Hello, dear friends. Hello dear friends. Hello guys. The wind has picked up, but we are ready to head into the house now and discover a bit more about it. It's absolutely beautiful, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you from the outside. See you in there in a bit. <laughs> Tickets. We are National Trust members, so we got asked for free. Woohoo! But this bit, guys, we're just in the first courtyard. I feel like I'm in Hogwarts. Look at this. What's Hogwarts? What's Hogwarts? How dare you? Get out of here. I reckon I am a Hufflepuff. What do you reckon you are? Slytherin. Slytherin. Put in the comments what Hogwarts house you are, guys. Or what Hogwarts house you think we are. Oh yeah, that would be interesting as well. <laughs> I 
only members of the Sackville family, distinguished guests and high-ranking servants use this grand staircase. Its imposing design was commissioned by Thomas Sackville between 1605 and 1608. The Brown Gallery showcases an extraordinary collection of 16th and early 17th century portraits. It is one of the earliest surviving examples of a portrait gallery in Britain, and you may recognise some notable British sovereigns. It's been discovered that the wood on which the majority of these portraits were painted on came from the same tree, and all were detailed to form this coherent collection. Bed for a picket fence. Oh, The King's Room was created by Thomas Sackville between 1605 and 1608. It was intended to be used by King James I. Although his portrait hangs above the fireplace, the King never visited Knoll. The enormous gold and silver bed was commissioned in 1673. The matching chairs and stalls are decorated with cupids. The survival of a 350-year-old royal bed is very rare as textiles often decay over time. <laughs> Hello everybody, we have just got back out of the lovely Knoll house. Stunning. It is really cool in there, like we were saying, like there's just detail everywhere, like in the door arches, on the doors themselves, on all of the walls, there's like murals and artwork, tapestries, it's crazy A isn't it? 350 year old royal bed. I know, we couldn't really talk to you much in there, it's a bit awkward to do so because yeah. there are quite a few people in but we've got some good footage so we'll tell you a bit about it all over the top of it hopefully didn't we? Fingers crossed. Wouldn't we have? I can't talk. We will, we'll do some, we we'll do some voiceovers. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed learning a bit about this place with us today and exploring its grounds. It's been amazing. It's been such a nice day out We got for ourselves us. a little present as well. We did and it's going to help our little channel a little, out. Uh, Walk a little in, walks, in walks in Kentford, so we can get some more inspo so and get out. So if we ever get stuck, yeah. we can just come to uh, <laughs> Kev <Cis> Reynolds, Cicerone, <laughs> yeah. who do lots of walking guides. This is not a sponsored video, we've just stumbled upon it. We have, we thought and, it might uh, be a little treat for us. Yeah. We'll see you when we get, oh sorry, carry on. Hopefully we'll do one of these in the future. <laughs> yes. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to our little channel and we will see you out and about on the next adventure. See you soon. See you later guys. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Bye. 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 Bye.